Aotearoa, New Zealand, one of the world's most pristine and beautiful countries in the world. Hello, my name's Colette O'Kane. Let me take you on a journey through some of the Oamaru art scene. The Oamaru I've discovered is set within old world architecture, ecotourism and untouched wildlife and the gateway through to the 1800s gold fields of central Otago and now one of the world's most invigorated art scenes. Walking through the old precinct is like walking back in time. You can still smell the wool from where it's been stored. They've still got the feel of the old buildings. They've kept all that so that it's like almost like a time warp. My name's Donna Demente and we're in the Grain Store Gallery which is here in Omaru. Yeah, I think part of what's safe Omaru is actually the fact that, that the charming part isn't on the beaten track, that it is actually somewhere you've got to go and, and make an effort to go to. Also the, um, the mere fact that they had to, um, they couldn't afford to demolish these buildings so they had to just leave them and they were in a state of neglect for a number of decades. I'd love to introduce you to Jeff Armstrong, President of the North Otago Art Society. I'm trying to reflect the creativity which is a given in, in each of us. I'm trying to actually make things which are beautiful, sometimes funny, um, things which have a, create a, an emotional response in people, I guess, um, and to say something about that, that underlying depth, which uh, is what I see as, as the truth. I was made really welcome when I moved to Oamaru and all the artists here were very welcoming and I, I really loved that, that people inspire one another. Well, what got me painting was living and working with Aboriginal people and all their various styles inspired me to paint and I adapted some of their styles and used them um, according to what I have lived with and seen over a lifetime. When I was a kid, I lived on a sheep station and I would sit on the woodshed that held the wood back. I'd look at the hills or mountains as most people would call them. And my dad used to always say, oh, if I could only paint, I would love to paint that. Along the way, we met a really interesting character, Meet Rappo. I would consider myself an artist as such. Quite a crazy twist. I don't like normal. I would come to Omaru because it's one of the most amazing places in New Zealand. Um, it's not about explaining what is here. You have to come here and you have to feel it. There's no explanation. It's just amazing. The North Otago Art Society draws a whole range of different artists who come together as one community to share that common interest and love and passion for art. What inspires me is the idea that each of us has this creative um, energy or creative force. Even in the short time I've, I've been here, there's been a growing um, pride and development about the Victoria part of the town, but the cultural part of town and, and the other things that are going on here for Omaru. Colleen Rinder has a love of country and this is reflected in her art. Art is for everybody and every type of art is for different people. It always amazes me how a painting I will do and I'll think I don't like it and somebody will come in and they say oh, I love it I want it and that is exciting because somebody has seen something in it. I would love to introduce you to longtime resident and fabulous artist Jenny Dixon. I think the most exciting part of the process of art is for me the finishing because you've had it in your head and sometimes getting it from head to canvas isn't an easy job 
but if you get it finished and you're happy, it's the best feeling. It really is. I can imagine all things that I'm going to create now. I like make-believe cities and towns, so I use country and city a lot together. When you look at a lot of paintings in New Zealand, you always see the beauty and the underbelly, and they always go together. I'd love you to come and discover the Oamaru art scene. Look us up. My name's Colette O'Kane. Okay.